What's up, Cyberhawks? So in today's video, we'll be showing you guys how to change the private and public IP addresses on your virtual machine in Azure. Uh, the first thing you have to do is go to portal.azure.com so that you're on this screen here and then go ahead and just type in virtual machines or VM and then click on virtual machines. Now, the first thing you want to do is actually get to the uh, virtual machine that you want to change where we want to change our attack VM. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then once we get here, as you guys can see, my machine is currently running. Um, I'm pretty sure you can change this without this running, without it being running. But um, I currently have my running. So just a heads up right there. And on this page, you can also see your um, IP address. So my current one is right here. So we'll copy that and put that over here to the side is 20.28.64.211 all right so to actually change this is kind of inside a lot of different things so go ahead and go to the left side here and under the networking tab or networking section click on network settings all right now the next page here you should see your inbound outbound ports and your rules and whatnot um which you would kind of see your network security group um, you just go up to the top underneath essentials and you should see your network interface. So go ahead and click on your network interface. It may, it, sh it should be something different. My attack VM 615, but click on your network, um, interface here. Now we're almost there. You should see this page. This page should tell you where your location is currently at for that virtual machine in your private IP address in your public. IP address right there. All right. So next up, go to settings on the left side here. And underneath that, you just see IP configurations because we're going to be changing the IP address. So go ahead and click on that. And we're almost there, guys. So from this page here, you should see something similar to this. And underneath the name down here on uh, IP config or whatever um, your naming conventions is, are, are on your uh, machine, go ahead and click on that. And then we're almost there. And from here, you can actually change the private and public um, address. So for the public, I mean, for the private one, as you guys can see here, you can make that dynamic and it'll do its own thing. But if you want to actually be able to change it, be sure it's on static. Now on static, um, you can change it, but it would have to be within the subnet. So like a two won't work, a three won't work, but like you can do like a five, 10, uh, 115, etc. And so you can change that right here. So let's say I want to change that to like 11. And all I would have to do now is just save. Once I save, let the, um, let everything update for about a minute or two and you should have your new private address so for the public address is a little bit different um, you may or may not have um, the associated button on but on here um, just go down be sure that's checked and right here as you can see you may have some other ones there or you may not but you would just have to click on create a public IP address and it will ask you for a new uh, name convention. So for this, I'm going to name this YouTube test two. And then you have the basic or standard. I like to go with standard. So go ahead and click OK. And then you will just hit save. And now um, it's currently in progress. So it usually takes about maybe like a minute or so um, for it to actually update. So we will do a fast forward, but also too, I just want to let you guys know, you're not able to actually pick out your public, um, IP address, unfortunately. So you can just type in anything, uh, but it will give you a new one. So you guys will see that in a second. All right, guys. So it's been about like 45 seconds or so. And on the notifications is saying that everything has been updated a few seconds ago. So we should be good now. So let's go ahead and go all the way back. We'll go all the way back to home or you can just type Microsoft. We can just click on the Microsoft Azure uh, logo or title, and then we'll go back to virtual machines again. And then we'll go to the virtual machine that we um, had, which was the attack VM. And as you guys can see, our public address 
has been changed it was 20.28.64211 now it's 20.28.67.121 so that is changed there and our private um ip address is the oh yeah i guess we did actually save the 10.0.0.11 uh, it was uh, 10 so we also got that updated there. So yeah, it's pretty quick, pretty simple to actually change. It's just kind of hard to actually find it. So hopefully, so hopefully that actually help you guys out. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.